Robert Broads are one of the premier inland boating centers of Europe, maybe even of the world. They have the essentials for a really top-rate boating holiday. They are full of variety with wide rivers, narrow channels and open broads. With old world villages, riverside pubs and restaurants, where there's plenty of good food and drink, and easy access by water to towns and villages. They have an exceptionally good weather record, with one of the lowest rainfall and highest sunshine figures in the country. Let's take a look around. This is the fine city of Norwich, with its magnificent old cathedral dating back to 1096. It's Norman Castle, with its extensive museum. The quaint byways of 400 years ago, a contrast with the new Norwich of the 70s. You can moor right in the heart of the city, and maybe visit the market, bright, bustling, gay, and colorful. You can moor in Great Yarmouth, too. This is a real holiday resort, with its beaches, piers, and all the fun of a seaside town. The countryside of the Broads is a blend of reed beds, meadows and woodland, of stately country homes and reed thatch cottages, of bustling yacht stations and long reaches of quiet waters. These are the rivers and lakes of the Norfolk Broads. There are 250 cruising miles of waterways for you to discover and explore. They know how to build boats in Norfolk, good, comfortable boats, boats on which you can rely. There's so much to see, to do, and to enjoy on the broads. For example, at Potter Higher Bridge, a Hoseason's pilot is in charge, for the arch is very small. The bridge is a well-known landmark on the broads. It's over a hundred years old and still standing, despite navigational errors. Shopping is a real joy in delightful little stores like this one at Malthouse Broad, below the village of Ranworth, where this beautiful old church stands. It's known as the Cathedral of the Broads, and it's famous for its ancient antiphonary, a medieval psalter, written on sheepskin and lavishly illuminated. There's also a fine rood screen in Ranworth Church, dating back to the 15th century. It's beautifully carved and colored, and has just recently been superbly restored. From the top of Ranworth Church, you can see five broads. Each has its own character. There's something for everyone in the family on the broads. Father can fish, mother can laze, while the children enjoy the wildlife of Broadland. The nature trails at Hofton and Hickling Broad are famous for their birds. That's a heron. Reed bunting. Coot. Swans, Canada geese, tern, and duck of all descriptions. Not to mention the magnificent great crested green. The variety of wildlife is equaled by the variety of boats available from Hoseason's. There are boats for every size of party, from luxury twosomes to family ten berthers. For sailing enthusiasts, there are modern yachts. They're all equipped to Hoseason's guaranteed standards. 
Then there are the houseboats of Broadland, some in the main rivers, some in quiet backwaters, but all to the same high standards. They're available in all the popular areas of Broadland. Many of them are provided with a dinghy or motor launch. In the evening, you can enjoy a drink in one of the many delightful Broadland pubs and maybe plan another holiday in one of Jose Eason's cruisers. On board, there's all the comforts of home, including a TV if you wish. You can put the children to bed knowing they'll sleep soundly. <laughs> 